do we have a project today we have to put in a flagpole for a customer which is going to be like it's going to be crazy because in farm sim you can't dig but the modders have found a way to dig it's going to be crazy because i'm going to dig a hole and then we're going to place down a flagpole we're going to put in the flagpole and then i'm going to probably fill it back in with dirt around there but we're actually going to dig a hole with the e45 bobcat excavator this is a lot of this stuff's private guys i gotta i gotta be honest a lot of it's private um i'll, I'll explain that later um, but this is kind of the start of like a construction series because I can do a lot of digging now I can dig anything I want pretty much like anywhere almost anywhere on the map uh, We got the e45 bobcat excavator. I have a dump trailer there I'll, I'll, I'll do a ton of shout outs throughout the video while I'm talking while I'm around the machine and stuff um, But we have the bobcat t590 Excellent just just a mid-size track skid loader perfect size skid loader for the job two speed Got the grapple because what I'm going to do is once we put an American flagpole, we're going to put rocks like around it for landscaping. And I think I should be able to do all this. I don't know if it's all going to get done today. And of course, we got my truck in real life 2017 F-250. It's not the exact same tires or like color, but it's the exact same model pretty much. Um, That's pulling it. Oh, this is going to be perfect, dude. I, it's it's going to be interesting. And so I'm going to try to like run this real realistic, guys. Like like I, I want this to be in, I want this to be enjoyable for for a 25 year old dude like watching this because like some of our content's like crazy like just anybody who likes construction i want this to be real enjoyable and, and like crazy realistic i say that every time i start a new series but let's try to be realistic as a goal okay how am i doing so far is everything realistic everything is strapped down besides the excavator the excavator is strapped down besides it's not here i can actually pull off the side and show you guys besides it's not like it's not it's not perfect let me show you so, like, you can see the excavator. Let me undo this so you can see. Okay, so there you go. The, you see how the excavator sinks down on the trailer? That means it's strapped down. It's probably not going to move when it starts sinking. Okay, so I'm going to mention this every video. If you guys are interested or are on the look for a PC, check out Apex Gaming. I partnered with them. We built we built my own PC. It's, called, it's literally called the Squad PC. It's more of a beginner PC for farm sim. It'll be able to run all the mods. It'll be able to play farm sim great. Test it with farm sim. Um, and that's over on Apex Gaming PC. I have a 10% off discount code. And I think as for now, the first 10 PCs that get sold are already marked down 10%. And then on top of that, you can use the squad discount code for another 10% off. That's the first PCs. And I've talked to some dudes and uh, they've already bought. They've already bought some. P There's already been a couple PCs sold. Some people have messaged me on Instagram. So we might be running out of PCs. All that's going to happen is once we sell more than ten, they're just going to take away that beginning 10% discount. So you'll, so you'll only instead of having 20% off, you'll have only 10% off. Or if you want like a two thousand, three thousand dollar PC, you can go on there. They have some crazy PCs on there. If you're looking at one, just check it out. Check out how much stuff they are probably one of the cheapest companies in the business dude it's insane and i have the link down below in case you guys want to check them out okay so here's the job now hey we got to pull off the side of the road we can't just park in the road so um what i'm gonna do is i don't want to really pull across this driveway here even though it's it's like weekend and nothing's going on what we're gonna do is i'm gonna back up and then we're gonna put this uh here let me see if i can back it in here by the way if you guys have any ideas for a construction company name throw them down below what Okay, so what I envision is it'd be cool if we eventually get the multiplayer. I, I can't share these mods with you guys. Some, I'll, I'll explain how, like, if some of them are private and stuff. But if we get the multiplayer, and I have a couple of people with me, let's say we're on, like, two or three mini excavators, and we're just, like, digging a hole for, you know, a certain project. That'd be kind of cool. And then we, we kind of have a crew running, one guy run the skid loader, or something like that, where we really get it done quick. That'd, I don't know. That'd be interesting. But here's what we have to do. We have to dig down here. And then place a flagpole here with rocks around it. I'm probably not going to dig out this whole thing. I don't know what the heck's been going on. If they had a stump here or something. But they decided they want a flagpole. Um, and so we got to dig probably down the center. Place a flagpole. Fill it back over. Get rocks. That's the goal. That's the goal for today. So what I'm going to do. Unfold here. We're going to get the mini excavator off. I don't know if I'm going to even. We might use the skid loader a little bit. We also have dirt in here from our another project. This dump trailer actually works like a dump trailer. It holds... 15,000 liters of dirt. So we'll probably, honestly, we'll probably fill the dump trailer completely up. I'm going to get the bobcat off. Wait, does this? Yep, see? It won't even move. Can't even move her. Now it should move. 
There we go. And I'm going to slowly drive this off. Guys, I haven't used this. Oh, gosh, dude. Oh, dude, look at my hands. Holy crap. Those dudes are going all over the place. Oh, okay. So there is one view on this that is messed up. And you'll see you'll go below ground. But then there's another view. That's good. So I'm going to move this around here. Now, this is a private mod. And it's I don't know if it's going to be released or not. Hunter from Expendables gave it to me. Shout out to Hunter. Uh, for this it came from the Expendables team, but it originally was KSTs and they converted it over to FS19 uh, So I ended up getting it from Hunter from the Expendables team now This does this with a lot of skid loaders and like track things You'll see they're like bouncing around weird like this. I just need to get it there It, it I had it operating really normally Normally before like it wasn't it wasn't bad like this as long as I can get to the hole. We're good. I don't know why it's like this I don't know if they're going to release this though. And then the dump trailer I got from Hunter, because Hunter made it in FS17, they converted to FS19. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're going to release it. They did give it to me for the videos. Um, I'll have to talk to him. I'll have to talk to him about that. Okay, so the goal. Dig down the center, and then just put the dirt in the dump trailer for now. Dump trailer is probably half full. And that's what I plan on doing. But like when you dig in farm sim, it doesn't dig... Like it won't, I can't dig just a straight hole. It'll kind of take away some from the sides and stuff too. Oh, it's not too bad. There we go. I'm only, the bucket actually holds a ton of dirt too. It's kind of cool. Dude, this, this excavator, it was working so good too. And I even reset it to try to see if that would help at all. Unfortunately, it didn't help. So we're going to be like wobbling a little bit. That's fine though. Okay, so it, it does make it a little harder. It's cool though. I'm not complaining, man. I'm going to dump it over in here. Just dump in there. We'll fill this up. There we go. Reach out over here. Nice. I did this in FS17 too. It was fun. It was perfect. Honestly, we're not going to be taking that much dirt out either. There we go. Let's dig down. Probably like only two more scoops or so. It's not going to be too bad. There we go. I don't want to like make a big hole. That's the thing though. There we go. Okay, that's kind of a big hole. Uh, now, I didn't even fill that bucket up all the way. We'll go a little deeper here. Sorry, I did kind of drop some. There we go. Okay, we're actually making a deep hole already. Nice. Okay, so while I'm digging, I'm going to talk about some of these mods for a sec. So the mods, this map is an edit that Anthony made from over Expendables Monty. And here, let me let me pause for a second and show you guys and explain to you guys that you're wondering like, how do you get the dirt in here? Here's how, it, or I'll explain how it works at the end. But anyways, I got this Volvo wheel, lo wheel load over here. This is the whole mine operation. It's not mine. It's just the mine where I go load up at. And he placed dirt and like gravel, probably some sand back there and other materials. Materials where you can just go. Yeah, there's some sand back there. And you can just go pick these up. And then uh, you can just go pick these up and use them for your jobs and stuff. It's kind of cool. He edit This is Wind Chaser, if you guys know the map Wind Chaser. But it's an edit of his, which is kind of neat. Okay, and so the secret to doing this, and this is why you can pretty much do it to any ground, is I bought this house, right? I just bought it, bought it in game, just buy the house, and then I go and use the landscaping tool, and shout out to Hunter for this idea. Hunter was the guy that thought of this. I was like, man, that's that's smart. Cause, and so I go do the landscaping tool, and I just put a hole in the ground with a landscaping tool. And then what I did is brought a couple dump trailer loads in, filled in the hole. And then you can pretty much dig anywhere you want. You got to like pre-stage it ahead of time. But heck, if you get like a huge dump, it, it, it won't take long to pre-stage it. But it's kind of cool. It, it, it's really fun. So like this is, there's actually a pretty big hole here. And I, honestly, we're probably about good. I'm thinking we're about good here. We already have enough, it seems like. I think, man, we're, this is probably pretty deep for a hole already. I, I, okay, I might take off just a little more and then we should be good. Just a tad more. I don't I don't really want to even take out more. Okay, okay, that's good. That's definitely good. I'll fill in and I'll fill in the rest later around the pole once we get the pole in there. Sorry about that view guys. Don't want to be switching up views on you guys. There we go. But I dude, this is where like it's gonna challenge me creatively to think creative 
and like do a lot of things but if you guys have any ideas on different jobs we could do throw them down below man when like 30,000 people watch there's a lot of 30,000 ideas that get flown around so if you got a good idea throw it down below but like for other landscaping jobs i'm trying to think what we could do i'm always trying to think so for now let's focus on this job a pole so i'm gonna place down or we're gonna go pick up the flagpole from somewhere okay so i got that baby completely cemented down we poured concrete she is solid dude i probably could have dug a little deeper i mean that's probably what two three four feet in the ground i, I probably should have dug it a little deeper but it's got cement about another foot down and then we got we got rods run through it so it's a pretty they wanted a nice flagpole <laughs> like you're gonna get a sturdy flagpole this is honestly a little too big for them probably but they're gonna be happy with the job so what we need to do now is fill in the rest of the dirt here some of the dirt we scooped out so i i don't know if i could just scoop it out of the dump trailer or if I, I could use a skid i might use the skid loader for this Should we try using the skid loader it'd be kind of fun to use the excavator but i'd like to try the skid loader for this and then basically what I want to do, fill in this and then kind of level out some of the rest of the dirt that's here. But then we got to go get rocks yet for the rest of this project. So I got to go buy rocks somewhere. For now, this little, the skid loader, and you can see it's running good now. It's not like wobbling all over the place. Look at my dude's sunglasses in there, if you can see them. <laughs> They're just like kind of hanging off the side of his eyes. Cool though. Okay, so for now, I think this is their grass. For now, I'm going to park. Ah, oh, man, it's kind of tough to control a little bit. Cool though. Okay, for now, there we go. For now, mini excavator is going right here. I'm just going to call it mini X. That means mini excavator. I'm sure you guys know that. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is unstrap this, unstrap the bobcat, and then uh, pr probably just dump a little dirt on the ground here. That means i got to hook up the F-250 to the dump trailer. But I'll just dump a little dirt on the ground, and then we can fill it back in. Dude, I really shouldn't have dumped dirt into the dump truck. I probably should have just moved it to the side. Man, that was a bad idea on my part. Okay, let me undo that strap. There we go. We're good to go. So two T590 is going to come off of here. He's going to be bouncing probably. Yep. It'll eventually balance out though. I wonder if I could dump it into the bucket. I mean, in real life, you could dump it into the bucket. I don't know how this is going to work here. I want to try this actually. Okay, so I'm going to put that behind there. And then I got to detach this trailer. Now, this is the tow version. So the suspension's real tight in the back. You can get the standard version where the truck's like able to flex a lot more. Suspension's a lot looser and it'll squat. But I was figuring, dude, we better get the tow version. Otherwise, if I would have had that Bobcat and the excavator on the trailer, this thing would have been squatting like crazy. It would have been, it would have been, it's really cool when you see it squat, but it's a little rougher. Like you're bouncing around a lot more. There we go. So we drop that. Now I'll hook up to this dump trailer. Luckily it's a gooseneck too. Also, once we expand the business, check out what we can get. It's a mod that came from Expendables. I, I'm serious, dude. Expendables is like the best modding team slash group out there. Uh, but dude, Cummins. But if I do it for work, like like for this business, we'd be getting a Dooley. Hold on. Dooley flatbed? Yeah, probably Dooley flatbed. So we'll set up. Yeah, some duels on there. And I could do, there's so many different things. So this is the extended cab, but I could go regular cab, which is even more of a work, kind of. Not really. Um, but I could go, I know that looks weird here. Let me change it. Um, there we go. I think that looks good, dude. Oh, man, I wonder how much it squats once you put weight on that, because that's got a, like a really high, high up end, back end to that. Oh, but it's only a 2,500? Man, that'd be cool if they put it 3,500. I wonder, maybe you can change this. Tools. Oh, you can put tools. Got a sliding gooseneck in the back. It doesn't change to 3,500. That's the only thing. Maybe I'm missing something, though. Oh, and then you can change the front end to be chrome, too. Oh, man, that's cool. Okay, sweet. I'm not going to get one yet because our business isn't there yet. But it'd be cool to get a dually second gen. Okay, connect to this. Now I'm gonna just slowly unload dirt. I'm gonna watch the number down here to see what we're at. So here we go. Just on, honestly, maybe I can back up a little more. There we go. Probably should fold. Oh, nope, nope. Fold the tailgate. There we go. Okay, so slowly just unload this. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Okay, maybe this isn't gonna work the way I want it to. 
Oh wait, so here, unload here. Oh, okay, stop. Did I dump any? Okay, that's not gonna work with the skid letter. It's fine, I can just dump it on the ground, then push it in. Just, just a little bit. There we go. That's probably good for now. Or probably a little more. Okay, just 10 more. Good. Okay, perfect. Nice. That actually worked out really good. Um, we do have to move this. I think I'm just going to pull this ahead. Just right here for now. <laughs> I love this little dump trailer. It'd be cool if he had, if Hunter eventually made this into a triple axle. One that could hold a little more, dude. A little longer, like a 16-footer. Because I think this is like a 14-footer. Triple axle, baby. Probably wouldn't even be able to use the F-250 anymore for that. But it'd be cool to see a triple axle dump trailer. Okay, so all I'm going to do is scoop this up with a bobcat. We're going to fill in this area. We do have to get rocks yet, though. Dude, the tracked one. Me and Spencer for Spencer's landscape project. There will probably be a Sunday Fundy out, but we... There we go. Okay. I'm just slowly pouring it. It looks like a lot's coming out, but I have it... You can see not much is actually coming out. It's just the animation that's showing a ton right now. Okay, we're gonna we might need a lot more dirt, dude. Yeah, I think we're gonna need some more dirt. Okay, there we go. We scooped up the rest. I'm gonna kinda pull around to the side. But it's cool, dude. I think Farm Sim is technically probably the best construction game you can get. Like if you want to do these type of things. It's not even part of the game, it's only the modders that made this. Okay. I've realized we're gonna need a lot more dirt. Maybe something I should be doing is just dumping it, just backing up to here and dumping it in there. But the skid loader, honestly. That skid loader worked really well for doing that. So I think I'm just going to do the same thing. But we need more dirt. I didn't think I took that much dirt out even. Okay, back this puppy up. Drop her down. Okay, maybe not too much dirt. Okay, there we go. That's probably good. Hopefully that's good. See, it'll fold up. And then even the dump trailer has ramps. So like if I want to haul the Bobcat or mini excavator, I can haul it in the back of the dump trailer. Kind of neat. Okay, so now what we got to do. Same thing. Push this in here. Dude, this is fun. I can't... I, I'm trying to... I'm, I'll be thinking of other, like, projects we can do. Because it'll be fun once we get some other jobs in here. But, I mean, for this, it was... It was two grand on my part. And then the install, they paid the installer for the flagpole. Which I kind of helped out. Put the port cement and stuff. Just for the flagpole. But, uh, this was a nice little project. As long as we get done safe. We're not done yet. Okay, I'm going to work around to the other side. You put this dirt. There we go. And then just slow. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're going in. We are going in. There we go. Nice. Back her up. Okay, where you might need some more dirt yet. Actually, I could fill in some of those holes with rocks. We can always dig it out with a mini excavator. If we want to drop a rock in there. But in real life, man, I'm I'm starting to really like Bobcat skid loaders. I never really appreciated them until me and Spencer in real life rented a T490 track skid loader. You guys will probably see that on Sunday Fun Day. But I ran that thing the whole time. That was a joy to run, dude. I just called it the little beast, dude. That thing was. She would dig in there. And then we were just ripping out, we were ripping out like four inches of clay. And it was just perfect. The controls were so nice, they were crazy sensitive. But once you get used to them, man, you can go quick with them. Okay, so it's not leveled out the best. I can see if I can use my bucket to kind of level this out. Oh, hey, oh, okay, okay. Maybe not that much, but it did kind of level it out. Okay, so now I'm going to try to fill in these little holes we have here. Come on. Fill in. Okay, it kind of creates like more even. It did it did partially level it out. I wonder if I just drive over it. I, I, I have a feeling that Skiddler's gonna kind of sink in. Unless, if I drive over it, it might, it might kind of level these out. Yeah, look. Oh shoot, there is a huge hole there. Oh no. Come on, climb out of here, there we go. Okay, so I've realized there's a huge hole right here. But the Skiddler actually works really well for leveling it out. Yeah, we definitely need more, a lot more dirt through here. There we go. Okay, I think we're close. There, there might be like one little hole right here, but then we're good. Let me level this out a little bit. Oh, shoot, dude. That thing just nose dives in there. We got a compactor a little more. 
Not bad. But my thing is, is once we get rocks and we drop some rocks in there, I have a feeling the rocks might just sink through the dirt. Who knows? Okay, so now we got to get rocks. I got to get rocks from somewhere. I may go take the dump trailer. Yeah, we'll go take the dump trailer, pick up some rocks. I got to figure out what to do with this extra dirt here. Ah, oh, darn it. Um, I don't, I guess I could just dump the dirt in the back. Let's just dump the rest of the dirt just right here and we can scoop it up later. But that's a lot of dirt to scoop up. I think for now I'm just going to dump it in the back and we can clean it up later. That'll work good. It might be kind of a lot of dirt. It's only... Okay, it's not too bad. It's only 7,000 liters. It's just going on their cement, dude. This is probably not the best thing to do. But we can always pick it up later. Look at that dump trailer go, man. That's sweet. And it's about done. Perfect. He's folding down. Okay, so now we got to go buy rocks. I think I should be able to get him at the quarry. Should work good getting him at the quarry. Now I am back, dude. Okay, so what we got from the hall, I'll show you guys once we pull in. But this sweet old lady had some plants for sale. And I was like, dude, that'd be perfect for around here. So we picked up some plants and put them in the back too. And then we got our, I guess we got our rocks in the back too. I didn't pick up many, but those will do. Those will work good. So what I'm going to do, pull around here. Oh, we're going to make it? Oh, just barely. And then I'm going to back this in and probably, probably just dump the rocks right there. And I can, I, I should be able to maneuver them around with, ah, let's just dump the rocks on the driveway for now. I can maneuver them around with the skid loader a little late, later. I don't want to just dump them right there now because we've got we to gotta place them perfectly. But for now, rocks are coming out. Please work. Come on, rocks. You can do it. Okay, so I might have to shake this a little bit. Come on. There we go. Hey, okay, it works. Nice. Come on. There you go. Nice. Okay, so that actually worked. And then I'm going to put that down. And then i got to get these plants out yet, too. So, is that even legal? That's, technically that'd work. Okay, that'd work. So what I'm going to do, oh shoot, wrong one. Put the tailgate down, and I should be able to lift out these plants. Um, I got to figure out where I want them though. Like, do I put the plants? Oh, you know what? It'd be cool to plant them in the ground. Wait a sec. I wonder, hold on. Okay, so could I plant these? Technically just, not really. You can kind of plant them. I wish they weren't in the pot though. It'd be cool if they weren't in the pot. Okay, I don't know where I'm going to put these for now. Uh, okay, so for now, I'm going to set all three of these up here. We'll figure it out. So for now, don't tip over. There we go. It's going to sit right there. Grab the other one out. Put the other one. Just, uh... Okay, just right there. Perfect. And then, okay, one more. It doesn't really work well when you have a gooseneck. If this was a bump pull trailer, it'd be a little easier. But it worked fine, I guess, for now. Okay, so drop this one right there. Uh, there we go. Yeah, okay, perfect. So now, the only thing is, we gotta move those, move those rocks in place. Set them up real nice. Okay, for now, truck's just going there. Man, I love those folding steps and then the mirrors. <laughs> okay, so I did bring the grapple along on the trailer. But, I don't know if I need it. I might be able to kind of nudge these little guys in here come on come on little buddy okay you know what I can just drag it wait but I don't want to be picking I do not want to be picking up uh I don't want to be picking up dirt so maybe we should use that grapple gosh darn it I was trying to put my bucket down and I accidentally grabbed some dirt gotta dump this out now there we go don't get too close to the dirt there we go. So buckets going there. Actually, I should have used the the realistic thing is I could fold these up and down, and I should have folded them up before I did that. Oh well, it's fine. So I can't pull up on there, but I should be able to kind of maneuver the bucket, the grapple around by hand. Come on. There we go. Okay. That should be good. Oh what? We're not close. There we go. Okay, that wasn't... It worked. It worked. Okay, so now we got my grapple on. 
And I should be able to uh, at least... Wait, will the grapple pick up dirt? I don't think it will. But I wonder if it'll... I think we're good. Okay, so now I'm just going to pick this up. Got the rock. Please don't slip out. And then... Uh, okay, so first one... I don't know. I was just playing on putting rocks just all around the flagpole. That was my idea for now. I know it's not that creative, but that's what I was going to do. Here we go. Oh, shoot. It's kind of worried about that. Come on. Get up there, buddy. Okay. That's kind of cool for now. Okay, next rocks. I don't know if we're going to use all these rocks either. I think the best thing is just push them, man. Don't even lift them. Some of these smaller rocks might not work the best. Yeah, <laughs> smaller rock got buried. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of, I should be able to organize them so they don't bury themselves too bad. Okay, next rock. Don't bury yourself, dude. Here we go. Nice. Looks kind of clean. Okay, some of these smaller rocks might not work. I'm starting to realize. Okay, next rocks. Man, I need to, I, I think I need to just go for those big rocks. I might try to buy a couple more big rocks. These smaller rocks just aren't going to work out the best. I, for now, I'm just going to push them back here. Then we'll load them up. I got to go grab those big rocks. Those are the only ones that are really going to work. <laughs> Dude, this works really well for pushing rocks and sliding them. See, those big rocks just stick out a little bit, and that's enough to make it look nice. You know what? The plants might look... The, I'm going to shut that off, but the plants might look really good around this. Say I put a... Uh, okay, so they're not going to stay upright. That's fine. There we go. Put this dude right here. We got the lift anything mod. That's how I'm lifting these guys. We need to go grab some more rocks that are like that size. This one... I wonder if I can lift this. This is kind of smaller rock. Whew, there we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So now we need... A Pick up some more rocks that are about that size. And they'll almost look like stones are in the ground. One more rock. Oh, one more rock here. One more rock here. And we should be good. Okay, so these rocks are a little lighter to where I can lift the yeast. And what I've realized we're doing is I've started stacking these on top. And it's working pretty good. I mean, it's not going to look the best because of all the dirt around it and stuff. Oh, come on. If I can get that to balance there. This could look kind of neat. I should put like maybe plant another circle of plants around it, maybe some gravel. I don't know. It's 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 not bad. I feel like there's some better things maybe I could do with it. Not too bad. It kind of looks like somebody just tossed some rocks there. <laughs> it looks cool, dude. I think it looks good. I think job done for now. I mean, I'm I'm gonna realize some more ideas, a lot better ideas. Heck, dude, we should build like a little fence around it. That'd be kind of cool because there is a placeable placeable fence I could I could kind of put around this. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, or place some grass around here. We need to plant some grass badly around here. But, dude, project is done. We got the project done, dude. I'm, I'm just pumped that the, the project's complete like I said it was going to be complete. Now, I'm trying to think of some other mods that might work well to put around here to really clean this up. Maybe put some landscaping. Like these, these, these shrubs, these bushes. I don't... Okay, well, it's the the fact is there's a pot there, and it's not gonna look good with the just the pot right here. Um, here, this might look kind of neat, I guess, if we put them on the corner here. There we go. Just clean it up a little bit. Maybe some, maybe one right here. I wish you could kind of plant them in the ground. I, you know what? I might be able, I might be able to kind of plant them in the ground. I'll kind of mess with it a little more, but I think I got an idea to where I could use a landscape tool, put a little hole in, and then I could put them in the hole. Dude, should I try it? I feel like I could really screw this up, but dude, this would be kind of cool if I could if I could make this work. Let me let me try it. It's not gonna be perfect. Didn't mean to toss that, by the way. <laughs> okay, uh, I, not gonna work the way I want it to. Let's do it anyways, though, dude. I wish I could get this this thing a little smaller. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's. Mm. Okay, so here I'm just gonna toss one of these in here. Okay, yeah. It, yeah, that totally screwed it up. Maybe if I turn the strength up or something. Uh, we'll see. If you guys have any ideas, I need to put that back to normal. Come back to normal, man. There we go. Yeah, it looks kind of clean. Looks kind of clean. The only thing is the dirt around there. But man, the project is done. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, 
let me know. Hit that like button. If you guys have any suggestions down in the comment section, let me know. I plan on setting up a couple more of these, doing a couple more jobs, kick off the company, maybe get a couple of helpers on here. We can really get rolling. A couple guys around the mini X, a couple guys around the skid loader. That'd be kind of cool. But there's a lot of different things. I just got to use my head and think of different ideas. So thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. Hey, I'll see you later. Don't forget to check out Apex Gaming PCs if you're looking for a PC to get farm sim. Thanks, guys.